it's a packaged peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh, your favorite. Without any crust. Oh, they're, they're good and stuff. And you can freeze them, uh -huh. and you sit them on the bed. I eat them at night while I'm asleep. <laughs> I sit them on the side of the bed, and they, they thaw out. I mean, come on, man. Don't get no better than that. Don't get no better than that. Because you, know, oh. you know why? Because you know I don't want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But I don't want to make it because it's messy. You got to get two jars open and <laughs> look at that. Thing. And you know what's the good part about it? When you get to the middle, it's the best because there's a lot of jelly and stuff. All right, let's go, baby. How are you? <laughs>
favorite horror movie. Mine's The Exorcist. I just I, I know mine. It's The Exorcist, yeah. and it, it scared me when the first time I saw it. You had to wait in a, a line, had a disclaimer when you went in, and I was scared before I went in just from reading the disclaimer. So <laughs> yeah. that's my that's the scariest. I'll agree with Ernie. Yeah, that's Exorcist movie. was the last, probably the only horror movie that actually scared me. <laughs> that have you ever seen Exorcist? The original I, version. I watched. Parts of it. Yeah, parts. Yeah, of it's it. it's it's. it's you got to remember when the Exorcist came out, people weren't like making jokes about the church or dealing with that religious stuff. So it was so taboo what they pushed with the Exorcist. I think my favorite uh, horror out of all is Evil Dead Part 2, which is kind of like the introduction of horror with comedy in it. It's so, you've seen that one, right? Evil Dead Part 2 is wild. But, uh, you know, it's good movies. Good movies, you know, family values. I really like the um, Conjuring Part Two. Oh. The Conjuring. Kevin Hart has a whole story about watching The Conjuring and getting scared and leaving his house, <laughs> leaving his girl. I don't know where the keys are. You probably still got them. You never gave them back to me. Yeah, uh, yeah. Kevin Hart has a whole story in his in his, in his um, stand up where he watched The Conjuring and then he got scared and he thought he heard something. And him and his father left the house they were in and went to a hotel and called his wife and says, uh, yeah, uh, we're at the hotel. Conjuring is back where y'all are staying. Something is happening, but we left, so figure it out. I was like, that's cold. He let, I'll, I'll call you when I get to a safe place. I'm so sorry for the lo loss of your former bandmates. Mm -hmm. Do you think they'd be proud of you guys and your new material? Oh yeah, they definitely will, and that's that's why we keep the band going. You know, we miss them daily. But you know, we have the new new members of the band. They haven't replaced the old members, but they replaced the members that replaced the old members. <laughs> so, so right now the band is you know we're, we're it's good. It's brand new. It's brand new. It's a brand new band. And we're enjoying it. And also, the band is still the same. It's I mean, it's still this the first album to this album. It's the same energy, the same attitude, the same look. I think our band members that started the band would be upset if we had made a change. If we had turned into, you know, a different kind of a band. We went pop or something and we're singing and all kinds of craziness. Yeah. yeah. They they wouldn't be happy. So we kept it we kept it B C. We kept it the same way and uh yeah. So that pays a good tribute to their memory. Yeah, yeah. exactly.